Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on Friday, April the 5th. We're starting off with a $14 spark order this morning. First hit my phone when I was still at home making smoothies. $7. It's one small drop-off. And uh, I didn't get a screenshot of the $7 offer because I never imagined I would be actually doing this order, but every few minutes it kept going up by a dollar and finally it got up to $14. And I, I looked at it closely and it's just not a bad deal. Four and a half miles, drops off right by Stefan's restaurant. I just don't see anything wrong with it. Small little order. It's going to be a piece of cake for 14 bucks. So here we go to Walmart, y'all. What's up, man? Hey. All right, y'all. We're loaded up. Got everything right here in the front seat. Should be really easy. Going four miles. Oh. And there's a, there's a black pickup truck in the yard. That's my house. I do believe I've delivered to you before with the mailbox shaped like a house. Yes, that's me. Okay. All right. I should be there in just a little while. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for helping me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. ah, this was a piece of cake. This was such an easy $14. Wonder why nobody grabbed this order. All right, here we go, y'all. Seems like they want this over here. Yeah, I've delivered here before. Is that door open in or out? I think it opens in. Alright y'all, appreciate your business. Have a wonderful day. Alright y'all, so Dashing Dink and I are having a contest today. We're going live together. We're live right now. And we just got our first offer. It's a $6 plus Cracker Barrel. I didn't notice the mileage. Let me check the mileage real quick on the screenshot. One point nine miles, six dollars plus. That that indicates that it'll probably only go up to like six twenty five or six fifty. We'll see. Heading back in for the other one. Music's not so loud this morning. Hey, good morning. I don't suppose that's for CW, is it? Yep, CW. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. You too. Well, those are two nice orders. Right, CW, I appreciate your business. Enjoy your Cracker Barrel and have a wonderful day. Hey, puppies. Hey, puppies. You say seven dollars? I got a screenshot. Hang on, let me navigate this crazy driveway. 
All right, let's see if y'all can see this on the screenshot. All right. What'd you go up to, Chad? Here we go. Can See if you can see this. Can y'all read that? $12. It went up to 12 bucks for 1. Wow. 1.9 miles. Nice. All right, y'all, we got our second order of the day. We got a Dairy Queen high pay offer, five bucks for 2.3 miles. So we're going to DQ. DoorDash for Brian D. Brian, can I see yeah. Brian okay. D. Hey, puppy. Hey, good puppy. All right, Brian, sorry that took so long. Enjoy your Dairy Queen and have a wonderful day. Thank you for your business. All right, y'all, so in our contest we have going here, we were basically even. Uh, Dink was at $18, I was at 17 but he just got a $35 spark order and I just got a five and a half dollar firehouse subs order. So he's got a big lead on me right now. Here we go to firehouse subs, y'all. Did three stacks ever say when he's coming to Kingsland today? Hey, how are you? Uh, Brandon R. Man, I'm the only one sitting here, and there's two guys coming out. Must be a big order. All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Guys, one of these orders has hot chicken from the deli, and it smells so good. I think Chuck got this the other day. Yep, those rotisserie chickens drive me crazy. So the young lady handed me my order, and it wasn't too bad. It, it was just a minute or two. Handed me my order, and I said, no drinks or anything? And she said, let me look at the ticket. It turns out there was a drink, a bottled Coke. And so she had to repackage everything, and it took forever. All right, Brandon, I appreciate your business. Enjoy your firehouse and have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, we just got a high pay offer. Six bucks for like one mile, picking up at Panera. About to go get some bread action. Some St. Louis Bread Co. Ain't that right, Big Carl? All right. Loud music, loud music. Is this Irene over here? She's sitting there ready. Y'all have a fantastic Thank day. All right, y'all, I'm on a uh, $6 Panera order going 1.5 miles. All right, Irene, I appreciate your business. 
Enjoy your Panera and have a wonderful day. talking about it was 38 bucks it was uh it wasn't very many items it was only like 40 items two different people and but it this was is fantastic nice. all my orders are ready to go <laughs> thanks y'all yeah, you too <laughs> thanks buddy you too <laughs> hey there I have got a DoorDash order for Sarah M. We have not finished it yet. Okay. All right, Catherine, I appreciate your business. Hope you enjoy your Panera and have a wonderful day. Yeah. All right, so I just dropped off the $6 DoorDash order. And now I'm about to drop off the no, I dropped off a $6 Uber Eats order. Now I'm about to drop off an $8.25 plus DoorDash order. And I just got a Spark order. Hey, Dink, you didn't ask me how much my yeah. Spark order is paying. Oh, how much is it paying? You ready? You're sitting down? I'm sitting down. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your business. Have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, we just accepted a little $15 Spark curbside pickup. It's two small drop-offs, seven miles. Should be pretty easy if they would come load me up. They're usually really fast here, but uh, they are busy. Man, there's a million Sparkers in this parking lot. Which makes me question, why am I getting a $15 order and not a better order? If they're so busy. But anyway, we should get loaded up here any minute now. All right, y'all, we are loaded up. Y'all, one of my drops, this is the entire order right there. It's, I think it's just some plastic cups. All right, where are we going? Not familiar with this street name. Grayfield Drive. The St. Mary's. This is a very easy order. I mean, this this is not a bad order for fifteen dollars. They're usually way faster loading me up. But yeah, I uh, think we're gonna pause everything after that and just check our totals. Be right back. By the way, y'all, the old man is worn out. I'm ready to just call it a day. I guess I gotta hang in there one more hour though, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> all right, out of my way, all slowpokes. All you slowpokes, all you kids get off my lawn.
Hey there, how are you? Good. Am I at the right place for the Walmart delivery? Yes, sir. Okay. I just need a signature and we're done. Thank you right, so thank much. You. Have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> All right, so I'm going up to apartment number two. This old apartment complex is really cool. I would love to live here. Mr. Lott, thank you for your business. Have a wonderful day. So y'all, y'all probably can't see it. I can see the river from here. Now, it's in between palm trees and buildings, but I can see water. If a boat went by, I could see it. This is so cool. And there's all kinds of festivals and things that go on down here on the waterfront. All right, y'all, we just got a $5 Taco Bell order, high pay offer, just going a couple of miles. We're here at Taco Bell now. And they just added on seven and a half dollars. Yeah, Chuck, you and... Uh... Hey Derek, how are you? Hey Rob, I've got two orders, Lewis and Kent. Kent. Want to be on the live stream? Sure, There's up? Rob, y'all. <laughs> okay, just check it. All right, Dink. So I've got a twelve and a half dollar stack and an additional ten dollars on a dirty stack, but I don't think I can do the dirty stack. I think I'm going to have to drop it. But this is a twenty-two fifty that I could have, but I don't think this dirty stack's gonna work. Whoa! Is this one hundred and one Kings Bay Road? Yes, sir. Do you have a Lewis L? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sir. You're very welcome. Appreciate your business. Hello, sir. Are you Kent? Uh, I'm his brother, but he's right there. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all are actual brothers? Yes, both in the Navy? Yeah. Yes, Where are y'all from? Virginia. Virginia. Cool. The weird thing is, we're both the exact same job. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you know? That's so cool. Well, I appreciate your business. Y'all have a great day. All right, y'all. That does it for Friday, April the 5th in Kingsland, Georgia. It was a decent day. Uh, we made seventy-two dollars in three hours. Uh, whatever that works out to, uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Is that twenty-four bucks an hour or something? Oh, I think it's exactly twenty-four bucks an hour. It was maybe five minutes over uh, three hours. Anyway, good day. But the highlight of the day was uh, we were live streaming the whole time, the whole three hours. And we were doing a contest with another YouTuber called Dashing Dink. And he's way up in Bemidji, Minnesota. And we just had a little friendly contest to see who could make the most money in three hours. And I wound up with $72 and he wound up with $79. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we, we got 88,000, or excuse me. <laughs> 8,800 views on the uh, live stream and it was a fun little contest I think the uh, viewers seemed to really enjoy it and you know what I could go do a contest with any of y'all all you got to have is two phones you don't even have to be a youtuber if you can if if you can somehow have two phones um, you need one phone for your door dashing and ubering and whatever else you do and then you need another phone to live stream on 
but any of y'all if you got two phones or if you can get your hands on a second phone you know borrow your kid's phone or something <laughs> for a couple of hours two or three hours one day anybody could participate in this we could have a little contest so I encourage all of you that was a lot of fun let's have a contest with me or any other youtuber one of y'all can challenge Dink. He was the, he was the winner, dashing Dink. Um, but yeah, y'all can challenge each other. One of you has to have a YouTube channel, but the other person doesn't have to. You just have to be invited to uh, the live stream, and then you can have a contest like this. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, y'all, that does it. Thanks for riding along. Those of you who watched the contest, thanks for watching. Congratulations to Dashing Dink. And uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I really appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, y'all, we've got bonus footage. Sitting at home editing tonight's video. And got a unicorn Uber Eats order. Came in at $9 first. And I declined it, of course, to see what it would go up to. Came back a couple of minutes later at $22. Pretty good mileage. I don't I don't remember exactly what it was. Probably probably said eight or nine miles. I've got to go up to town to Folkestone, about four miles, to Pizza Hut. And then I've got to come back and drive right past my house. Well, my the road that goes to my house. Drive past that and go back to that same Okefenokee Swamp campground where I delivered to the uh, young Brazilian lady the other day. I don't know. Is this... It's not the same people know. It's somebody named Cameron. But anyway, here we go, y'all. We're going to uh, Pizza Hut, about four miles. Then we're going to go probably eight miles from Pizza Hut to the campground and then four miles back to the house. Hmm. Doesn't sound as great when you put it that way. I guess I'm going to do about 16 miles of driving for this $22. It's all right, though. It's easy. Easy money. The only bad thing about it is it, it's going to put me late publishing tonight's video. Probably won't get it published by 6 p.m. because of this order. But the video will have bonus footage on it. By the way, this is going to put us over 100 bucks for the day. Um, Dashing Dink and I had that little three-hour contest today. And I made $72 during the three-hour contest. But I did a $14 spark order before we started our contest. So that's $86 and now $22. Added on to that, that's going to put us at 108 bucks for the day. That's a great day for me. I rarely ever make a hundred dollars in a day. Hey there. I'm picking up. Picking up an Uber Eats order for Cameron. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Appreciate the help. <laughs> Have a great day. y'all here we go to the campground right across the street from the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge one of Folkestone's tourist attractions the other tourist attraction is the train tracks Folks, and I've heard that Folkestone gets like 90 trains a day passing through. And there are train lovers all over the country. 
who come to Folkestone, Georgia to film trains going by. There you are. Good, how you doing? Uh, oh, you're welcome. Hey, I gotta get a little four digit number from you. Yes. It's six seven one six. Six seven one six. Six seven one six. Oh, come on. Bingo, we're all set. Okay. Let's see. Y'all having fun out here? Yeah, I'm having fun. Good. Where are you from? Um, I'm from uh, Florida. Florida? Yeah. All right. So Y'all have a great time. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. $17 base pay. That's what that wound up being. So it must have been a $5 tip. That's cool. All right. Let's get home and finish editing video and we'll stick this footage in the video.